Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mini Monday. We didn't have one last week, simply because there wasn't enough news out there because of the Warhammer Fest 3 videos that I did the following time. So we've got some important news about the Privateer Press War Machine. A lot of shops are basically offloading their stock. They're basically trying to get rid of it really, really quickly, and they're even doing like overseas postage for free which normally would cost like 30 40 dollars so if you like war machine or something my advice is get what you can now if you don't like it i would see it being either property or press web store only from now on or completely being completely being gone like what happened with guild ball basically about um a year ago second bit of news the hecna pdf will not be out in june or july it's going to be out in september that's so they can finish some artwork and do some bits and pieces in the claim you know in cleaning in the uh, pdf department so the heckner rpg for fifth dungeons and dragons edition won't be available in june it's going to be available in september from now okay so we have some more news um, regarding the curse city well the curse city situation let's call it basically from what i can find out from various sources is that games workshop were locked into a contract with the chinese company to print the Curse City boxes, the manuals and instructions, as well as the cards and stuff. They are locked into that contract and because of a situation that's happened with that company, Games Workshop is not going to produce anymore. Um, so that's that's why we've got the courts released next week for well, for Radica's court and Radica himself. Well, the first incarnation of them. There are some other releases for the Soul Blight and there's some Admech stuff as well, including the new Skitari Marshal. That's so that's the Curse City situation and that's the pre-orders for this Saturday coming. Let's move on to the last bit of GW news that I wanted to cover is um Zograd Waltznagger and the Here We Go article that was released earlier today. The Here We Go article basically brings um Homage back to his original model, as I pointed out, the beard and the hair bring back the old mohawk. I would have preferred some sort of banners as they used to do, so maybe, maybe that's something that can be done, you know, conversion-wise, with the old banners the orcs used to have. I really love those old things. I think that with new GW, they've lost something with those back without those back banners. Um, so. I always love to see more models if they have those type of things. So going forward, maybe that's something I'll look at. Um, also mentioned in the article is it's possibly we might see another Snakebite character as well as our Grad Watsnagger. The new character I think will be related to, more to um, Squig Riding it, because it sort of mentions that because um, if you see at the end it mentions the knob on the smasher squig but um, maybe in two weeks we'll see some sort of um, weird boy on a um, on that chariot thingy because everyone was thinking it was some sort of like battle wagon-ish thing but some other news that I've heard that it possibly could be a weird boy tower or a beast nagger version of a weird boy tower which was a very old unit in epic so that's something to look forward to in two weeks. Next week, I think we might get um, some more Sisters of Battle um, or Adeptus Sororitas stuff. I'm not sure what else they could do unless they're just going to go over the units again. But there we go. Especially with the new character and everything, I think they've done most of the new units in the uh, Sisters Battle um, in the uh, in the uh, Sister Bulletin thingy. So yeah, that's what we're going to next week probably it's one of the units rehashed um or the codex or something um yeah yeah i think that's that's all the news that i could find for this week i've included the heckner news because it's something i'm very interested in. i always like those pocket realms in dnd so so please check the heckner playtest out if you want to it's for free and i'll put a link in the description um coming up um there's going to be a little bit of a uh, newsletter which um, will have some homebrew rules, and that might come. Well, that might get some more. That might get some more um, thing 
information towards uh, the, the end of this week, beginning of next week. So we'll see if there's any um, contributors to that little newsletter and see if we can bring it forward a bit faster. Um, so thank you everyone for watching and take care of yourselves and uh, bye bye.